I bet, I, 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 bet, I, I, I reckon it's the same thing. But when you love a woman, you ever look at her, and you love her so much, you, you think about something happening to her. You love your mother, you love your father, your brother, whoever it is. It's, it's all the same. But the thing that makes you love them the most is the thought of something ever happening to them. You fear. This is what makes you take care of them. The fear of something ever happening to them. You fear losing them. This fear in love. So next time somebody asks you, actually, you can't even love what you don't fear. It has to be, it's in love. Fear is a component of love. It's a component of it. Because if you ever truly, what you call love someone, then what makes you love them is the fear of losing them. Is the fear of them leaving you. Is the fear of them, you know what I'm saying? Not giving you that love back. Hmm? Say if I get locked up. Right? And you love me. Why do you love me? The reason why you help me out of love is because you fear something might be wrong with me. I might be in there hungry. I might be fucked up. You, you thinking about me me being fucked up in there, man. Somebody hurt me in there. If I die in there, or he's in there, he's not eating, he's not... He, those things of fear is what makes you get up and come visit me and put money on the books. Okay, don't believe me. It's the truth, though. Understanding. That's the understanding. You understand me? Everything in nature is ruled by fear. Limitations. Hmm? Yeah. There's no love without fear. Fear is a component of love. Love is not unconditional. There's conditions to everybody's love. There are conditions. telling you the truth right? that's not my experiences i'm telling you the, the honest truth about fear you can't you can't love nothing completely love yo yeah i know y'all think that love that fear is the opposite of love but that's what y'all been taught and that's a lie that's sad if people don't think for themselves they they y'all know the truth already it's just that people repeat something so much they repeat it so much that you just think like in your head, like, fuck it, that's true, that is true. The opposite of love is fear. You heard that shit, but you never really thought of that shit. Like, if you really think about it, you can't even love without fear. You know? And no one thinks for themselves. They just go along with what everybody says. They don't fucking think. Like, yo, how that shit makes sense? How do you know what love is without fear? You don't even know you love somebody until you about to lose them. <laughs> you, you, ever, you ever love ever creep up on you before? Like you didn't even know you loved the joint. You know what I'm saying? Just something happened to him. <laughs> they end up in the hospital or some shit. You're like, yo, I didn't even know I cared about you this much. Damn. Fuck. Until something happened to him. Then you, then you realize, like, damn, I care about this motherfucker. You ain't never, <laughs> you ain't never met nobody like that.
<laughs> and fear is an illusion. Love is an illusion. It's the same thing. You can't have love without fear. I keep trying to tell y'all this. Think for yourself. Open your mind. Open your mind. Just being real with you. Open your mind. Think for yourself, bro. I'm giving you a couple of examples right now. Even your siblings. What make you love your siblings is the fear of losing them or something happening to them. That's how you know you love them. Without fear, you wouldn't know what love is. Fear is necessary. Fear is, it's not, it's not here for no reason. This shit is here to be understood. It's supposed to be loved. Love is understanding. Fear is a part of it. You must understand fear. What that is, that is a component in love. I'm just putting you up on game. You ain't got to believe me. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> Feel me? Like you. Now that's a fact. What you just said was working with like that shit real. Yeah. If, if, if a motherfucker don't care about you, they can't love you. Right. <laughs> if they don't care about losing you, the fear of losing. yeah, the fear of losing. If they don't have the fear of losing you, that motherfucker don't value you. We value what we fear losing. And 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 really, love is just what you value. I love you. That means I value you. Replace the word love with value. <laughs> you feel me? If you place the word love with value, and you just like, yo, I'll value the shit out of you. <laughs> and then you can really, you can really get an understanding in life if you do that. Yo, I'll fucking value the shit out of you. Value <laughs> Next time you make a letter, I'll be like, yo, I'll fucking value the shit out of you. <laughs> you feel me? You know why you value that? Because it means something to you if you lose it. I value you. That's better than love because love is misconstrued. But if we change the word around, then we can give love a new word. I value you. Because really, love is understanding. And that don't have nothing to do with the shit we be talking about, really. The shit we be talking about is lust. Right. I lust for you. Which means I, I hold a value. I hold you at a value. You feel what I'm saying? I lust for you. A lust not in a sexual way, but it's a strong desire. You know, I have a strong desire for you. And that's love to us. <clears throat> love is, love, what love truly is, is mathematical. It's math. It's, it doesn't care about feelings and all that shit. Love is science. <laughs> love is goddamn nature. You know what I'm saying? And there's a dark side to nature. There's a dark side to love, motherfucker. It's, a, it, it's, it's love. Shit, it's some tough love. Nigga. Love ain't all what it's put out to be. Cause I be, I'm giving them niggas. I'm giving people love. Nigga. Mathematics, you wrong, motherfucker. Yeah, that's you. That's love, and people don't feel. They don't feel like that's love. But it's understanding. I'm giving you understanding. You know what I'm saying? But they don't, we don't feel like it's understanding. Hey, so what you're looking for is what you desire. And if I'm not giving you what you desire, you feel like I'm not spreading love. Oh, you want value. Look, you want me to give you what's valuable to you. Then you will give me love because, I, because I'm something valuable to you because I give you something that you value. Then you can love me. You see? You see how that works? I value you, a.k.a. I love you. Everybody you love right now, I guarantee you, if you look deep into it, you value them. to them how it's going to make you feel because you have emotional ties emotional attachments to them memories whatever it is whatever it is you value because of the emotional tie that's it it's nothing to do with love love is like love is like let your let your grandmother die nigga 
Because she needs to die. She needs to move on. Energy is transformed. Nothing is lost. Move the fuck on. No, but there's emotional tie. That's love. Love is understanding. So understanding that your grandmother had to pass away to, so, so, so that other things can happen on your journey, you can't let it go. Like, that's not love, nigga. You ask that, I'm saying? You crying at a funeral about something that's part of the, the, the cosmic order. That's not love. Half the shit we do ain't love. It's not understanding. Half our R&B songs ain't understanding. L listen to our R&B songs. They're all fucking wrong. Like, let us listen to this song. This is a misunderstanding completely. This is a motherfucker that don't know the astrology, that didn't know what the fuck they was getting into, and then they got fucked up. Now they have an understanding, but they still don't have an understanding. They made a whole nice-ass song about it. So everybody else can be... So, so they made a song that expressed the collective confusion in our community. <laughs> like, oh, shit, like, this song is fucking stupid. Have you really listened to it? The whole 90s. Dumb shit that we shouldn't have been going through. But because we were a part of generational curses, because we were a part of um, Project Living, experiment by the CIA, man, we were singing about what we were going through. But does that mean that what we were going through was right and righteous? Fuck no, it's just a culture. Hip hop, is that cool? Is that okay? No, it's not. It shouldn't be glorified, but it is. So we don't love, we don't know what love is. We wouldn't be on hip hop like that. We would use it as an art to express what we're supposed to do like we do. That's love. Our music is love, nigga. You feel me? The shit you rapping about is love. It's quantum physics, nigga. Mathematics, science, that shit is love. All the shit we rapping about is just expressing our ignorance. That's not love. In a sense, it's like, okay, I understand what you're going through. I understand your struggle on one hand, but it, is, it ain't getting you out of your circumstances. It's keeping you there and glorifying it. So it's not love. You feel what I'm saying? So we can't truly value each other or say we love each other when we're making music that perpetuates the, us going to prison or staying in the system and, and, and integrated into the system. Can't say we love ourselves if we're doing this. You feel what I'm saying? If we truly value, because we don't really love ourselves. We have a strong desire of lust for what? Self-indulgement, self-satisfaction, getting money, grabbing that bag, taking care of my kids, and you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. So, I said that to say this. True love embodies, embodies fear. Facts. Because when you love, you understand. And when you understand, you fear the consequences of breaking divine order and the breaking divine law. Like me, me, you, carbonation, we really love. We're in love. You see what I'm saying? And what do we fear? What is the component that we fear? We fear being wrong. We fear not being on that righteous path and applying that knowledge to our lives. Because we, we know through understanding, through love, that if you don't, then you're not going to be able to make it to the higher realms of understanding and consciousness. And we know that life is a hologram, that you are the only one in existence and you're here to proclaim the kingdom of God. We know this and we fear not because we know what happens. Because we know we, we, because we know we fear being wrong. We fear what? God. <laughs> you love God, then you fear God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, just, it's what it is. It's no, you know what I'm saying? You can't get around that. Like, forget about it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't have love without fear. You know, in the Bible, it even says in Proverbs, in chapter 1, and, and it says in the beginning, like, the, the beginning of all wisdom is fear of the Lord. Yeah. Fear of, when they say Lord, change the word Lord to law. <sighs> I'm going to say it again. When they say the word Lord in the Bible, change the word Lord to law. And then you understand, then you understand it better. Like the Lord's Prayer, change it to the Law's Prayer. The Law's. The laws of the universe. 
our father. Now we know who the father is. That's the son. Who are in heaven. Where's heaven? The sky. Hallowed be thy name. Yeah, the, the hallowed be thy name. The name of the son. Huh? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because the earth is the sun, nigga. It's a reflection of the sun. Right. Huh? On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, our food, our our energy, our 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 knowledge. And forgive us our debts as we forget. Yo, treat us the way we treat others. Therefore I have to love our people the way I love myself. Us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those that, 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 that sin against us. Right? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. What's evil? Living backwards, stupidity, lies, deceit. Feel me? Things that go against life. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the kingdom. The kingdom is the sun. Everything is the sun's kingdom. The kingdom, look, this whole universe, is the, this whole solar system is the, the king, the kingdom of the sun. If you think about it, everything came from the sun, boom. For God is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. The power, nigga, where the power come from? The sun. <laughs> the power, nigga, the source of all power. The kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You feel me? I'm on Ra. You feel me? <laughs> Real shit. If you if you could break down the laws, you break down the law. That's the law. That's when you think about prayer, just change prayer to thinking. Change the word prayer to thinking. And then you have law of thinking. This is how this is the law of thinking. The Lord's prayer is the law of thinking. That's how you think. Those are the laws of thinking. This is how you're supposed to think at all times. Give reverence to the sun and the earth. At all times. That's what the law of prayer was. But they took it and they made it into some other shit. Feel what I'm saying? This is this is sun worship. Facts. Facts. That's a fact. When I drop gems on you every day. Reflect the light. So yeah, you can't even have love without fear. And people don't think about it because we just be repeating. I'm saying we just be repeating what already was said by the Greek, right? The European. We don't think like the East, which takes me into my next subject, right? And my next subject in this download, and it's sad. It's so sad. Right, and then I'm gonna pin it. The spirituality of sexuality. Mm. Ready? See, we here on the West, we have soaked up the Greeks' mythology a lot, which is a lot of truth to it, but it's a lot of lies because the Greek could not truly embody the knowledge that they receive from Africa. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to understand. We are, we are on the West here. Europeans are regurgitating knowledge from Africa. And they don't have the melanin to truly embody the knowledge and understand the concepts. You know what I'm saying? It's like our culture, right? Right now. We have the hip-hop culture, right? And the knowledge that we have coming through us. We have a whole hip-hop culture. We say certain words, right? They're just now catching up on these words. They have this thing called Genius. This Genius app where they break down the music as it's actually singing and it's like telling you what's... It's, it's actually educating white people on what the rap music actually means and the slang means. They actually do interviews with the rappers and they collect all this information to understand what the hell we're talking about in our music so they can translate it. So you can get a clear understanding. So if you're ever on Spotify and you see Genius and you see the, the lyrics pop up and they're explaining the lyrics as you're talking, 
right? Because white people cannot embody the things that we embody, which is the universe. The universe comes out of out of us very naturally because of melanin. And so what you have to realize is that the Bible, the Quran, all of these religions that we have have come through, you know, through, through the mind of a less melanated being and has interpreted the wrong way. So we're given misinformation, and when you give cells misinformation, it causes cancer, and that's what we become. We become cancer cells in the body of God, uh, which is you, right? Your own body, which is a mind. You don't have a body. The body's an avatar. You see what I'm saying? So a figment of your imagination. We're going to that later. So we have regurgitated the knowledge. You know, and what we've done, because we've been wiped out and we, we come from a heritage of slavery, we've been wiped out. Our memory's been wiped out. Our name, our spirituality, our understanding of everything has been wiped out, just wiped out. We have nothing, so we're only feeding off what was given to us. You know what I'm saying? And we, we have embodied that. And because of the poison that we eat, because of our lack of connection to nature, we have not been able to truly interpret it. The, 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 the misinformation or the half truth we was given. See, see, if you start eating right and you start getting close to nature, even the Bible and Quran starts to become very clear to you because your melanin, depending on your neuromelanin, which is your astrological program, your shit start popping. When you read it, you start seeing it for what it is. Like, wait a minute. Where the hell is the Jesus the rest of Jesus' life? <laughs> I just read this thing like four times. Where's the rest of Jesus' life? Because he was the Messiah, but he didn't show his human experience. You see what I'm saying? Like, you start reading shit and it's the, wait a minute. If this is from Africa, how the fuck are people named Matthew, Luke, and John? Wait a minute. That's white. Ain't no fucking Matthew, Luke, and John in goddamn Egypt. <laughs> and then when you look a little closer, you start reading and then you like the gospel according to John. Wait, so John ain't right, this motherfucker? No, these are messages passed by, passed by, passed by people that said according to John, John had said like 50,000 people done passed this message down and then you got it. It's the gospel according to John. That's not the gospel what John actually said. That's what niggas said John said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we, got, and we are literally basing our life completely upon this thing. This is the divine truth. Now, if we know today, if I am line up a whole bunch of people in this fucking room, and we pass down history from generation to generation, and... The story going to get to the hands of somebody that might politically not want something to happen so they can switch up the knowledge for their benefit. Come on, man. This is man we're talking about. So we can't trust the Bible totally. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. I mean, you'll know that if you eat and write. If you, if you have the placements in the right place where Mercury is in the right place and your Mars is in the right place and your mind is exalted in these areas and then certain things start popping out to you and when you're talking to somebody you hear the shit that they're not saying you know what I'm saying you're like man son ain't right son ain't right nah bruh nah bruh it's when you just it, it, it's beyond the bible everything you do when you really lit and you start eating right and you start really getting into a relation and you start thinking for yourself if it's in your program if you got an astrological energy to have certain exaltations, then just certain things ain't going to sound right to you, brother. And they're going to make you do more research. Now, when you start researching and asking why, people get irritated. Why? Because they don't want you questioning them. When you seriously start to say, but wait, hold on, man. This don't make no sense, man. And I done had ministers in their own church, pastors in their own church, choking on the Bible because they couldn't explain it to me. I said, bro, I was asking them all kind of questions. And they couldn't answer it for me. That's when I knew I was getting more smarter than these ministers because they couldn't answer these questions for me. And that's why I knew it was propaganda and it was dogma. So I said, I got to get up out of here, bro. Shit is dumb. I, I, I don't need to go find something. No, I need to understand this shit. So I was on a seeking knowledge. So when you start, when you start eating right and you got that astrological energy and you chose it, boom, everything going to stick out to you. You're going to be watching a movie with your shorty. 
and you waking up. You waking up. You in love with this woman. She ain't waking up with you. <laughs> That's the craziest part. Like, when you waking up, right? But your shorty you've been with five years ain't waking up with you. And you trying your best. Like, listen, we got kids together and everything, but I'm leveling up. I can't just know the truth and not live it. You understand me? Like, you can, I'm telling you the truth, but you okay with not living it. You sitting there, yeah, 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 and you ain't really trying to live this shit. Let me take my kids. Nah, you can't take the kid. Fuck you mean I can't take the kid? All right, fuck it. I gotta go then. I gotta go. I'm not gonna sit here and, 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 and eat meat with you. I'm not gonna sit here and, and smoke with you. I'm not gonna sit here and drink with you. I'm not gonna sit here and folly up in this shit with you. I'm, I got to save me. I got to be the example. I can't sit up in here and do that with you. As much as I love you, as much as I care about you, you don't care about, I can't care about you more than you care about yourself. So I got to go. I can't be with you, baby. I can't because you don't give a fuck about yourself and I'm giving you the knowledge. But you got attachments, and I understand it when you do. When it's time, when it's your time to wake up, you wake up. That's when I ain't even gonna forget about you. I'm gonna put my shit on social media. I hope that you listen. I hope that you grasp it from there because I can't fuck with you from there. I gotta level up. No matter what it is, I gotta go. You think so? So when you start waking up, you stop listening to people and start questioning shit for your own self. And so what we don't understand is that all these old concepts that we kind of like, we kind of were fed. And we took it in as truth. We don't question them. We do not question them. Which brings me into my to my point today. When people seen what I did last night, their little strip show, I'm with my wives. They got they got their booty out. You know what I'm saying? I'm expressing sexual energy. They immediately say, You're not the Messiah. You can't be the Messiah. Do you know why they say that? Because their ideas have been massaged about how Jesus was and how, first of all, in the Bible. Let me tell you what Jesus' human life was like. And only tell you what they passed on the stories of. First of all, Jesus' name wasn't Jesus. That's number one. You understand? Second of all, there's a lot of shit taken out. A whole heap of shit taken out because we don't see Jesus' life in there. Do you see what Jesus was doing every day in the Bible? No, you only see certain events. And those events were picked particularly. So we start to see how they took the whole goddamn life out of Jesus. And then first of all, when you read about Jesus, you're reading in the gospel according to Matthew, a gospel according to Paul, a gospel according. These are letters and scribes that were passed down in time. So how can you trust a human being with your knowledge? How can we just blindly trust the government? Oh, but we do it every day. We put our kids in school. We let them pump our water throughout our house. We let them put our food in the motherfucking grocery store. Oh, we trust the government like the government was our parents. As black people, you cannot trust your enemy. Not with your food, not with your water, not with your God, with your resources. They are taking your God which is your resources, and they're modifying it so that you can't have a connection with your God, you melanated goddess and gods. They are taking your resources, which are your God, which is nature, that's your true God, and they're modifying it so that you can't have a connection. If you're not smart enough to know that they're your enemy and that's your villain, why, then, then you're going to be stuck. I'm not arguing with you. What are we arguing about? You won't come out the house, nigga. House, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's clear that the government is not your friend. So why are you asking them for, a, to, why are you asking them to get in bed with them? Look, I want to get a business. I want to get my own black owned business. If you know that these people can't be trusted, it is in history of the whole country that the whole country cannot be trusted. These people cannot be trusted. Why would we do business with them? Why would we even... Or we even take their system and use it for what? No. Why? I don't need to use your system. We have another system. We have to find our old system that we had. Before they came along, we must go back to that system. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, no, we trust them with our children. We trust them with our food, our water. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck it. That's what we're going to do.
going to do. We're going to blindly distract ourselves and entertain ourselves around the fact that we're trusting our enemy to feed us, to feed our children, to clothe us, to shelter us. That's what we're going to do. Okay? Fine. So, understand this. When it comes to that Bible, we talk about the idea of what Christ was, what the Christ was, what the Messiah was, has been misconstrued. So, you don't know what Jesus really did, or so-called Jesus, or Yahshua, man, whatever you want to call it. You don't know what the motherfucker did, because you ain't got the motherfucking records nor the history. So, I'm right before you, and I'm the Messiah, and I did a strip show last night for my wives. Wow. Broke them on down. Wow. Niggas is like, that ain't the Messiah. Look at that shit. Not even understanding that Kama Sutra. They don't understand Kama Sutra because remember we are on the east. We are on the west. The East understands Kundalini is spiritually awakening through through sexual um through sexual education. Oh, but we've been taught to be ashamed of sex. Yet nothing in nature is a shame of sex. Nothing in, in this whole planet, not one species, is a shame of a sexual energy but the human being, especially the black human. The African American people have, from the birth, we've been circumcised. Our sacral chakra has been harmed and traumatized. Our sacral chakra is fucked. We have no clear expression and cannot express ourselves sexually without feeling shame for it. And society has taught us, our parents, 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 this is a generational curse. One of our generation's curses is understanding our sexual energy. And then you look in, you look in the Bible and Jesus hardly talks about sex. Doesn't talk about sex. But wait a minute, where's all the sexuality at with Jesus? There's no talk about it. Now his disciples go on to talk about this shit, Paul and... But we got, remember, these are letters that have been passed down, that have been passed down, that have been passed down. But there's no document really of Jesus talking about sexuality. Really like that. Not much. There's not, it's, 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 it's blank. But they do know that Jesus was hanging with prostitutes and homemongers. <laughs> they do know that Jesus rode with a whole bunch of women. They do know that. I mean, that's been, that's what they said, right? But then you can't even... You, you can't even hold the Bible to true value if you are a logical thinker. You can only utilize it, you know what I'm saying, as a, a pseudoscience type shit. Because it's pseudo. The Bible is pseudo. It's not something based in, unless you hear something of value, that's like, you know what, that's real. You know, this, this was said, you can't serve God in money. That is the truth. We know that through facts of, of experience. We, you, you know that you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Then you start fucking with the words and you start reading and interpreting for what it is and you realize you can, you can attach it to science. If you can attach it to science, then we know it's good, it's good to go. It's a good, it's a go. You dig what I'm saying? So when it comes to spirituality or sexuality, we have no knowledge of that at all. You understand what I'm saying? The Bible Belt. Look at these cities, these states. Look how it's illegal. Some of these states, you can't even have a strip club because they're Bible Belts. Think about the Bible belts. These churches that black people have came up in the shadows of their master in. To this day, there are there are there are states that are Bible belts that do not allow strip clubs at all. Listen to me. This is a culture. Remember, we're black people, we're African Americans, we're living within a subculture of the white man's culture. We're not living in our own culture. Our culture is a subculture. I'm gonna, I'll explain it to you. All the clothes that we have, who clothes are those clothes? Fendi, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Red Bottoms, all our cars, Benz, Beamer, Lamborghini, Maserati. Whose cars are those? It's not our culture. We're in a subculture trying to mimic our master. And our 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 apex of apex of success is to be like master. Look at this, I got this Louis Vuitton belt. Look at this, I got these. Look at me. I'm the white man, you're not. No, 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 no. I'm the white man. And we're literally doing it to this day. Like, no, look at my house. Look how many rooms I have. I'm the white man, you're not. 
I'm successful, you're not. I got diamonds, I got jewels, I got money. You understand what I'm saying? I am the white man, you're not. I'm massa, you're not. Bitch, I'm balling on y'all niggas. I'm a house nigga, you're not. I got master's car, look at this car. Ugh, the lim- Lamborghini, ugh. Look at me, I'm shitting on these niggas. Niggas shitting on niggas. We are a subculture within a culture. That culture is a Bible belt. They, we don't live in our own culture. African American people don't have a fucking culture. We haven't found our shit. Our shit is science. And even the science of today is half, is damn near half of our real truth. Carbonation is the reality of what's going on. We found the true understanding of our spirituality. And we had to take the we had to take the white man's sciences and put them together just to get the truth. To just to be able to prove the truth without with facts so that people cannot deny it. Because we're God. We are gods. We are cells inside the body of God. And that body of God is our body. We are cells inside that and we can prove that through these five sciences. They cannot deny us because we have these European sciences, which are really our sciences, that they got their sciences from understanding us, from understanding the Greek who understood the Africans. So these, this is our knowledge. This is not, oh, look, you got the white man's knowledge. No, the white man got our knowledge. Their science book, their quantum physics, they only understood that stuff from the Greek. The Greek got that from who? Okay, so this is not the white man's science. The white man ain't doing nothing but preserving some of our knowledge for us, for us to be able to wake up in the day of today, which is the age of information. This is our knowledge. We are the ancient souls that came back that was like, thank you. Take that, take that, take that. Here, this proves we are who to say, who we say we are without any denying it. You cannot deny the knowledge. Now, I'm still going to be broken just like you because I came through you. It's a part of me. You understand what I'm saying to you? So when it comes to spirituality of sexuality, we have no knowledge. We have to look to the West. I mean the East. We have to look to the East to understand sexuality. We cannot understand sexuality through the the, the, the spiritual knowledge of the Bible. We can't understand our sexuality through, through the Bible. The Bible doesn't teach us about sexuality. No, we have to study Kama Sutra. We have to study, we have to understand what that sexual energy is and how to use it. Because we don't understand our sexual energy. No one taught us how to understand the sacral chakra and its energy. No, niggas took our fucking foreskin off at birth. Traumatized us. Most of us been molested as children. Because they, the people that molested us, they didn't get educated about their sexual energy. And so it's not their fault, it's the system's fault that we were raised in. We were uneducated, so we're doing stupid shit because we don't have an understanding of our own sexual energy. You know what I mean? Well, no one to blame, it's the system. It's the government that we keep trusting. So as the gods, we must educate our people. There is nothing wrong with us expressing sexual energy without shame. We should be able to do it. But look how they block us. On the internet, we are not even allowed. I had all my clothes on. I didn't do I ain't I didn't do anything like with, with naked or anything like that. I was just moving sexual. That sexual energy was in the room. Guess what? Blocked. Why did they block me? Because we're in the Bible belt. And I guarantee you, if you look behind the reasons, first of all, Instagram would block you because you violated the community guidelines. Now, the community guidelines are based on what the commercials, um, the commercial people want. Okay, because they get paid. Instagram gets paid from the people that commercialize, that, that, that pay for ads, that people that act. Now, these people that pay for ads want Instagram to be a clean place where it's Bible Belt. So the guidelines come from the fact that the people that are paying them for advertisements are under the Bible belt. This is all behind the Bible. So people can report us and say they're, they're, they're breaking the rules. They can go to the police, they report us, and then guess what? They block us. But I'm telling you why. It's based in the Bible belt. It's based in the belief 
of sexuality that we still have to this day because we're a subculture and the master the, the, the guess what the slave can be no greater than the master and because we are still slaves still think that the epitome of our success is to be just like master we are still slaves long as we are chasing what master has or as long as we are chasing what he has and we think that that is success we are slaves and we're no greater than him he's always going to have be greater than us because we're trying to achieve what he has and it is written and we know this is true that a slave cannot be better than his master and so we are still slaves because we chase what he has and which takes me back to explaining to you how we do not understand our sexual energy how we are then bashful we're the only species on this planet your damn dog ain't scared to poop on the ground and have sex in front of you but you scared to have sex in front of your dog something's wrong crickets are fucking all night long you know that little cricket sound you hear that's them fucking all night long squeak 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 squeak, squeak. jiminy crickets motherfuckers is fucking or if they're not fucking, they're making a mating song so that they can have sex. Okay? All throughout nature, it is shameless. Shamelessly. We are the only species that are ashamed of our sexual organs. We're ashamed of our sexual energy. Bonkers. So we are definitely sleep. Our sacral chakra is closed. You cannot be a god. You cannot be anything sacred. You cannot be anything that is of God or goddess. You cannot be able to understand your own sexual energy and be able to express it openly. Sexual energy is the reason why you're here. You cannot even come to this realm. Your, your avatar cannot even come for your soul to come. You can't even come here without sexual energy, yet you're here and to be ashamed of it is a fucking curse. Think about that very deeply. Very deeply. It should be the number one thing celebrated, yet it's the one thing that is not. Sex should be the number one thing celebrated. And it is in ancient times. You got phalluses, big penises all throughout nature, in the trees, mushrooms, all kind of shapes of fucking sex. It's sex all throughout nature. This is a sex. This place is a very sexual thing. You cannot be in tune with nature and not be sexual. It's impossible. Impossible. So we can't get our sexual education from the Bible, which is actually tainted and that shit is taken out because we know that the Bible belt. You see what they do with sexual energy. You're not allowed to express it. You are to be ashamed of it. You are to hide from it. Matter of fact, they circumcised you. The church, the European church, the Greek church, circumcised you so that you wouldn't have sexual energy. That is the reason why they circumcised the males, so that the males would not be over-sexualized. To desensitize the penis so that it won't, that the male would not be, go do your research. That is where circumcision comes from. Circumcision comes from Bible Belt European Jewish white men that said, fuck that, we're gonna, we're gonna circumcise our children so we can desensitize the penis. Because the more the head of the penis rubs on your underwears, the more you are desensitizing your sensors for pleasure and the less you will rather have sex. And they taught you, and guess what we're doing? Because we're no greater than our master, we're doing what master does and we think that that's normal. And so we're slaves to this day. You dig what I'm saying? You think what I'm saying, young blood? It'll never be that we are gods and goddess ever until we're able to deal with our sexual energy and be able to sit and talk about homosexuality, talk about sexuality, period, openly and educatedly and be able to express that freely and openly and understand it. It is a thing that should be celebrated. It is a thing that brings life. Yet we bastardize it, we hide it, we're ashamed of our own selves. And even in the Garden of Eden, God comes to Adam and Eve and said, what are you doing? Who told you you was naked? Huh? How did you know you were naked? Who told you you was naked? If you never tell your children they're naked, they would never know. Facts. Your children take that pamper off and they be running the fuck around the house. They don't know they're fucking naked. And so you make them feel ashamed of their own selves. You make them. You are the serpent. You are the serpent. 
You will be the serpent that tells your children they're naked and make them feel ashamed of their sexual energy. As soon as you do that, you traumatize their sacral chakra and you, you close that chakra up, point blank, period. And then when we don't understand our sexual energy, what do we do? We abuse it. And that's why we have all sexually abused, sexually fucked up, everybody got traumas. My uncle touched me, my aunt raped me, my duh, duh, duh. It ain't your aunt fault, it ain't your uncle fault, it ain't the little young boy that raped you, it ain't his fault, it's the system fault. It's us, nigga, we're ignorant, we don't know nothing about sexual energy at all. Sorry that that happened to you, but it's not our fault. We in a, we in a cancer tumor cell, and, and, and we cancers. We cancer cells in the body, we, we have misinformation, we have been modified that way. And this is the outcome of miseducation, of sexuality. Who gonna school us on sexuality? No one. Not no one. We must go to the East to understand sexuality. We must go to the East to understand sexuality. We don't have that education in the black community. Now we're still closed-minded, we're hurt traumatized we walk around with these traumas in our minds we walk around with the traumas we walk around we put that on our children and our children's children's children when does it stop we don't know about jesus's sex life do we <laughs> nobody knows shit we don't know all we told is he was crucified, he resurrected, but then the nigga disappeared. Then the story ends. So we already know this missing shit, this something ain't adding up. Just a little cognitive mind to tell you, like, wait a minute, cognizance said, wait a minute, hold on. Something ain't right here. Let me look a little further because we're supposed to be scholar enough, educated enough to question things that are a fantasy that just just don't make sense. It has to, it has to make logical sense for you to, to value it. But there it is. You know, people want to believe in Santa Claus still. To do the right thing, they got to believe in a Santa Claus. You tell them that Santa Claus, hey, Santa Claus not real. You know, you break their dreams. It's the little children inside. You know, it, it, it look... We have a misconception of what Santa Claus is, okay? There is some kind of a Santa Claus, but it's not the way you think of it. It's your mom and dad. They're buying this shit for you. Oh, I don't want to believe that. Because I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, okay? That was your fucking dad, bro. <laughs> Wrestling is not real, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? It was your fucking dad, man. No, it was Santa Claus. So your mommy's cheating with Santa Claus? Is your mama a hoe? Wait a minute, you call my mama a hoe? Yeah, your mama a hoe. Because your mama was your daddy, but then she was with Santa Claus. Which one was it? Um, man, leave me fuck alone, man. Hey. Mommy a hoe. She kissing on Santa Claus. Behind daddy back. Daddy working late night. See what I'm saying? Daddy on the late night shift and mommy kissing Santa Claus. And nobody gonna question that, but it's all in our songs. You understand what I'm saying? And that was the hint right there. Michael Jackson gave you, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. Whoa! Mommy, what the fuck you doing kissing Santa Claus? And why are we singing about this shit like it ain't? No, that was the hint, nigga. It was your daddy, nigga. Wake up. <laughs> This shit though. Nobody want to think for themselves. I'm gonna go though. I'm gonna leave y'all alone, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go no further now.